Hey everyone, so this video I'm going to explain like how you can achieve this one time pop up or overlay effect within Framer because uh, one time pop up or to track that or record that uh, whether that pop uh, appear or not for the specific users. So to track that and everything we can use a uh, code component and that I, I have already created for you guys. So this is very important because Framer has its inbuilt uh, overlay effect, but that's not one time. So when you keep uh, reload or uh, navigate to that specific page, it will appear that pop up or overlay will appear again and again. And that's I think that's that's not a professional move or act uh, to follow. So you can use that of, uh, like overlay for specific things or stuffs that already has the use cases it has. But I think to have, uh, like achieve the pop-up in a professional way, I think you should follow this video and that's what I'm going to do. So this pop-up is going to uh, appear for one time for each user uh, within a specific time like one day or six hours or 12 hours based on your uh, time setup you are providing on your code override. So this time it, it, will, it will just appear one time for each user uh, for specific time so i'm uh, maybe six hours i mentioned that there but if i click on it it will not do anything on its own pop-up itself but if i click on the cancel or terminate button it will terminate that and it will not appear again and also if i click on the reservation one it will also terminate that pop-up and it will re uh, redirect that to its specific page that i linked here and if i click outside of it it will also terminate the pop-up from itself that's what we want right so that's what i did here so if i click on reservation one it will redirect me to the its specific page and if i go back again you will see this pop-up will not appear again because it will it will track that for one time for its own specific part and yeah that's it and if i break gonna if i want to break down this i like if i want to re reload that again it will not appear you can see so let create uh, like create another incognito window here and i'm gonna paste that again so you will see it will coming up one two three so it's it, that's what it's 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 the uh, like what that, that's the reason what i am going to use it and we should follow that as well so let me click on, on outside of that window pop up it's it's gone right but it will not uh, coming up again because it's already terminated from the user yeah so let's break down this so if i go back to my dashboard of framer i used uh, my like i have created this code for you guys so you just need to copy that i will provide that code on my description part you just need to create a new code override and naming it whatever you want like i'm naming it bdc that's just just for fun and pasting it here so let me explain like you, you you have to save it first by control s or command s so let me break down the first one like the pop-up structure this is actually the structure of your pop-up like the position of it like at this moment it's center right if you want to make it bottom right corner you can also do that like i just need to make sure the bottom one should be like 20 pixels bottom and right side you can also mention 20 pixels so that's how you can position that from there also the uh, background color you can also change that from here and change the opacity as well and if you want to use a uh, blur effect on the background you just need to copy that and paste that on gpt and to ask them to make the background blur it, it will do that for you and you just need to paste that code here and then hit save that simple it is and if i go back to the animation like how much time it will take to come up the pop-up also the animation within it right i'm using three seconds for now for the spring effect that's why i'm using 500 steepness damping 25 and mass 0 0.5 if you want to make it five seconds you can also do that just copy that and paste that on gpt and it will show you how you can achieve that within five seconds and keep uh, you just need to paste that code here and that's it and the first function i'm using the with time overlay it's actually using to trigger that overlay coming up on that specific uh, pop-up we are using i'm going to show you that and it will also terminate or uh, like track whether the user is has cancelled it or not it will also track that and after that the cancel overlay also will trigger that to terminate that uh, specific pop-up from it so let me break down this from this one so i have created this pop-up 
and use the template from framer uh, template library but the pop-up i just use as rough sketch there is nothing fancy here so if i click on it on the layer panel you can see this one is our pop-up content i can name it like pop-up so if i go back to it and code override i just need to trigger it right i created bdc and i need to make sure this time overlay triggered here so at this moment it's, it's triggered for the overlay like, like to name it as a overlay or pop-up it will occur but i need to add some adjustment here as well like for the cancellation this one will act as a terminate or cancellation one so i just need to click on it and select uh, bdc and use the cancel overlay and this one as well if i go back and code overwrite and uh, bdc as well and cancel overlay right that's it that it uh, our main task has done i just need to copy that or cut that and need to paste that inside anywhere on our main desktop i'm pasting it here so if i go on the preview section you will see if it will come maybe not because i had i have already triggered that so you just need to publish it update see the pop-up i uh, like the uh, like layout i used it's not visible here at this moment that means it's working right so i'm going to click on it and copy that and create a new incognito tab and pasting it it will definitely gonna work see it's coming that's how you can trigger that so i triggered cancel here here as well but not inside it outside as well that uh, like the termination one so it will obviously gonna work i am going to cancel it and re like refresh or reload again but it will not coming again because i have it already recorded my inside as a checked one so it will not gonna show the same pop-up again at this moment and that's it and uh, um, there is one thing i need to show well there is one thing i need to share like the responsiveness part so if i click on it this one for each screen right so if i go up this, and you can see the width is 100 percent relative right but the maximum width is 336 that's how i am ensuring the responsiveness uh, for each screen you can also use some padding here so like for the mobile version for because of the padding it will come up a bit uh, like small from the screen sizes like now you can use one five pixels like 15 pixels or 20 pixels for the uh, smaller screen sizes and everything but if your um, pop-up is uh, large enough you can also apply the same tricks for different screen sizes so yeah you need to keep that in mind and that's it if you have any issue you can comment below or use my twitter you can also reach me there i will try my best to assist so yeah have a good time bye